guys, it's Julie, designer with The Quilted Cow, and today's tutorial is the Thin Folio. But first I'd like to thank my sponsors, Creative Grids Rulers, Husqvarna Viking Sewing Machines, and Wilmington Prints for Fabrics. This is my favorite storage container for any traveling needs. It has a great zipper pocket so you can store all of your clips or pens or pencils. It's got amazing little pockets here that you can put any of your notions or your ink pens in. Perfect for traveling, folds up nice and neat. Great for the on the go sewers. You can get this kit on our website at thequiltycow.com or on our Facebook Lives on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Our first step is to add our interfacings to our fabrics. We're gonna start by pressing our fusible fleece onto our main. I love the rich colors in this Wilmington print. It's called Rosewood Lane. Look at these flowers. We're gonna put our interfacing on the back of our lining and press it so it's nice and stuck. The next part is we're going to put our interfacing on the bottom half of our pocket piece. And we're gonna press that in place. We're gonna take all four of our zipper tops and we're gonna put interfacing just along one top side of this long strip. Leave this bottom part open. It'll save you some having too much bulk later when you do your zippers. We're gonna press this in place on all four of the strips. After all your interfacings are pressed and set, we are going to start with our pocket piece. We're going to fold one long edge a half inch in so it'll have a nice clean finish whenever we apply it in our project. Then we're gonna fold this together, wrong sides, and give it one more press. Our next step is to step over to the sewing machine and put a top stitch in just along this top folded edge. Don't worry about the side, we'll get to that part later. Now your pocket piece is ready. The next part we're gonna do is add our zipper. We're going to take and put the inner facing right sides up, inner facing along the top edge. We're gonna add our zipper right along the top edge. And we're gonna sandwich it in with one more piece of fabric. And we're gonna put this fabric wrong side up. Make sure you align your ends. And then we're gonna use our clips to clip it in place. Make sure this line has all three of your fabrics right at the top all nice and straight together. Then we're gonna step over to the Viking sewing machine and stitch this in place. This Husqvarna Viking sewing machine, the zipper foot that comes with it that makes life so much easier. We are gonna stitch a quarter inch seam Next, we need to turn these back and put a top stitch in. So we're gonna push the fabric away from the zipper and press it. Turn your zipper over and do the same for the top. Push it away from your zipper. And we're gonna put a nice press on it. Now we're gonna put a top stitch in and hold these down. We're gonna repeat this stitch to do the other side. Interfacing up at the top. We're gonna layer our zipper. We're gonna take our fabric with the interfacing at the top again and lay it right on top. This time you wanna make sure you're matching the seams on the fabrics you already have in place. And then we're gonna clip it in place before we stitch. Now step to your sewing machine and repeat the steps. We're gonna put a seam in, press it, and then top stitch. Same thing. Press it away from the zipper. Turn your zipper over and do the same on the top. Now we're gonna step over and put a top stitch in. 
The next stage is we're going to fold these raw edges under so they have a nice clean finished look. I like to do it one at a time. I fold it right against the inner facing line and give it a nice press. We're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Fold it under right against the inner facing line. Give them a press. Repeat that stage for the other side of your zipper. And the fabric's there. Once you have all four of your raw edges tucked in and pressed together, we're going to turn this right side up. We're gonna add our mesh into this left side of it. Sandwich it all the way in against where your zipper and your fabric meet. And then we're gonna put a top stitch in on the outside edge of this to hold our mesh. Once this is top stitch in place, we're going to take our pocket that we pressed earlier and put a top stitch in. The folded edge is gonna go on the right side and the raw edges are gonna get sandwiched in just like you did with your mesh. Press them all the way in and line them up at the bottom. This whole unit is gonna get put onto our lining fabric, the lining fabric right side up. We're gonna line up the mesh. We're gonna line up the edges. And we're gonna pin or clip this in place. Once we have this in place, we're going to draw our pencil lines, our pencil pocket lines, right onto this pocket piece. I love these small rulers just for doing jobs like this. You can get these on our website or we do show these notions on our Facebook Lives as well. We're going to go over to the sewing machine and stitch the lines that we just drew. This is the time when you will stitch the edge of your pocket closed. Once again, make sure you back stitch at the top edge of your pocket. Once you have your pocket stitched on the lines, we're going to stitch this edge of our zipper to hold our pocket in place on our lining. The next step we need to do is to press your iron to erase your friction lines or brush away your chalk. Like magic, it's gone. The next step is we are going to install our magnetic snap we need to find out the center point on the left or the right side of our lining and we're gonna mark it. Just a nice finger press will do. We're gonna measure in right on that mark and put a dot. You can use any tool to install your magnetic snap. I always just use my ripper. Put your circle right in the center, and then we're going to push in where the little angles are and just give it a little push. Push through the fabric and cut it. The next step is to take the prongs and put them through the holes you just made. Don't worry about the circle, it will be covered. Take your locking disc and put it onto the back and you can bend your snaps out. So now the stud part is installed. We're going to install the socket side onto our main fabric. Set this aside. When your main fabric is right side down, we're going to install our snap 
We're gonna install our magnet snap right onto the left side in the same way we did this on the lining. We're going to find the center and then mark our inch down. And add your little dot. Take your disc and center the dot and then we're gonna take our seam ripper and go right through the edges and just cut a little bit of the fabric. The socket side, put on the main fabric, slide it through the holes we made, put your locking disc on, and Bend the prongs out. Now we've got our magnetic snaps installed onto our fabrics. We wanna layer them right sides together. We're gonna to put our magnet snap on the left side for our main and on the right side for our lining. Align all of your edges and clip them in place. Please make sure that your zipper pull is inside your fabric. We'll trim the ends off later. I always move mine to the center so it's out of the way. Once you have it clipped in place, we're going to go sew our quarter inch seam. Be sure to leave a three or four inch opening for turning. Once you have your fourth inch seam, you can go ahead and trim your zipper ends off now. And we're gonna clip our corners before we turn, just to reduce bulk on the edges. Once your corners are clipped, it is time to turn it the right side out. My favorite point turners are our teal thingies. You can find these on our website, exclusive at the Quilted Cow. Once you have all of your corners pressed out, we are going to press and then top stitch our edges. I always like to wiggle the seams just to make sure they're nice and straight. I always press on the side that doesn't have mesh just to avoid touching it with the iron. It does tend to melt unless you're using a lower heat. We need to tuck in our turn opening. We're gonna press that, put some pins in to hold it in place while we do our top stitch. Missed the thread. Make sure your zipper is still nice and out of your way. We're gonna do a top stitch all the way around our filio. Now you can zip your zipper close. Got amazing room here. Room for all your pins. Our last step is to put a finishing line right where our flap is going to be. So we want to measure over two inches with our ruler. We want to measure over so we can put our finishing line in. Using your friction pin, draw a line. We're just gonna top stitch right along this line. I always like to give it a firm press once I have it all clipped and assembled. And that's the fin folio. It's perfect for all your traveling needs Great to keep in your purse or your sewing machine kit. Great for travel. You can find this on our website at thequiltycow.com or on our live on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.
Okay, you wicked cool quilters, good job. You made it to the end. We would like to thank our sponsors, Husqvarna Viking Sewing Machines, Creative Grids, Rulers, Rotary Cutters, and Mats, and Wilmington Prints for the beautiful fabrics. Thanks for watching.